Hello there, um, M. Strange here again, turning my fan off so it's less noisy. But I just wanted to show you a little further into my workflow what I'm doing to make my new film. So since I showed you a little bit something about the morphs, how I was going to use them, so I figured I should show you actually how I make them too. So I'm here in ZBrush, and this is one that I just finished making the morphs to. And as you can see, I have all the different morphs in these layers here. And the way I did this is that, uh, so I have a spreadsheet with all the different facial expressions for all the different characters that I need to use. So, you know, I wrote out all the characters and I decided what facial expressions I needed. And then I just go through, I load the head um, into ZBrush and then make the morphs and export them. So, I just want to show you kind of a little bit about that process and how that goes. So, if you're following along or doing something similar, and these aren't like super crazy advanced um, ZBrush techniques or something. It's just pretty normal stuff, but it's kind of good, you know, to see it in action. So here's a head from Cinema 4D that was exported as an OBJ, which I just imported. So all I do, I'm going to work at the same subdivision level because I'm creating morphs for this exact geometry at this level. So um, I want to use a layer menu and to help me so I have my spreadsheet on a piece of paper with the character name and then all the different faces or morphs that that character needs so I decide if it's a little kid then they'll have like cute faces or something if it's like a mean person or something they won't have cute faces they'll have more disgusting or you know faces that, that are appropriate for their character so and then on my um, workstation like right underneath my monitor probably like would be right here I have a little tiny mirror so when I come up to an expression I just look at myself in the mirror and make that face and then I go in here and kinda of mimic it so let's get something um, I'll just do one face show you how to do it so I make a new layer so now I can uh, sculpt on here do whatever I want and it'll be saved in this layer like a morph so the brush that I like using a lot for this is the move topological brush and I'll turn symmetry on and then I have an Intuos 4 that I'm using but you know any tablet is good for this or you can probably even use your mouse so all you're gonna do is move the points around so imagine this is a static face or your neutral face and then I'm just modifying this to make the different faces so I wanna make a scared face so I'm not some expert in like faces or facial whatever you would be to do this kind of stuff all I do is look in the mirror and then I just look at where my eyes go so I'm like okay well I kinda do this with my eyes and then my brows kinda come down like this and this goes up and then my mouth kinda turns into a frown more so and when I'm looking at the frown it's pulling this part down and pushing this part up and it opens the mouth more and if you saw the other video with my with my um, facial rig I have joints to open the mouth but I'll just open the mouth here a little bit just to you know so we can pretend that this is what I'm gonna be doing for my scared face ah! so all I'm doing is looking in the mirror and then just using this move topological brush and you know you have your smooth brush on shift so if you start fucking shit up just um you know smooth it out a little bit and this isn't like a perfect scared face because this guy has a really weird looking face but then all I do then I go in here and then I name it scared and then I'll turn it off and then I can go make another one so let's just make this one like a happy one or something so let's go and I found a lot of times when using big brushes like this because I'm doing real broad movements it a lot of times it has a it wants to like move the nose around so then I'll mask the nose out so that you can't really move it so we can do some other things here without screwing the nose all up so let's do a, a crappy smile here like this wow I'm so happy and then you know then we would have um, a layer for aisle okay so now we can go through here and you can see the scared ah, and the ah, this one 
So then all I do is export them. I turn off the groups and all this stuff. And then I just go to the morph, turn it on, and then export it as an OBJ, and then load that and turn that into a morph in Cinema 4D. And then I go through all my layers and go through all the characters till it's done. So just with this and a mirror and the move topological brush and a little bit of um, masking, and then you know you can go and press X and go into asymmetry for for faces to to adjust things. But this is the way that I'm using Cinema 4D with ZBrush or ZBrush more specifically in this video to make the morphs for my new film. So hopefully it's helpful to somebody, and I'll keep going forward and making more videos. So thanks for watching, and until next time, the bye.